Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Hi students. In this particular session, we will discuss about conversion of system of units. So how can we convert a particular system of unit to another system of unit along with its numerical value? So it will also change, right? So this conversion of system of units is based on the idea that the magnitude or the value of the physical quantity remains same. It doesn't matter in what system of unit or in which system of unit you are taking it, right? So the main idea behind it, behind it is magnitude of physical quantity magnitude of physical quantity is invariant in any or all system of units. Right. So this basic principle, this fundamental principle we will use to understand or to develop how we can convert a, new, a physical quantity in a particular system of unit to another system of unit, right. So let's write a physical quantity by capital Q, right. So capital Q is physical quantity, right. So it can be written in terms of a numerical value into a system of unit, right? Suppose you are taking a physical quantity, for example, say mass, and I'm writing the mass is 5 kg. So where n represent 5, that is numerical value, and u, that is unit, system of unit it is representing, that is kg, right? For example, if you talk about 5 kg, someone is talking about 5,000 gram, both the same, right? So in that case, n will turn to be 5000 and u will be grams, right? So any quantity you can represent in terms of a numerical value and system of unit. So n represents numerical value and u represent system of unit, right? Now let us for say we are taking a particular quantity Q which can be expressed in term of the system of unit let's call U1 and another U2 and we are interested to find the value of a particular quantity which is given in system of unit U1 to its value in U2, right. So I can write Q equals to N1 U1 that is the numerical value of the quantity in U1 system of unit and that must be equal to N2 U2 where N2 is the numerical value of that quantity in U2 system of unit, right? So N1 is numerical value U1 is system of unit. Right, or you can say first system of unit. Now for example, let us say that this particular quantity has got the magnitude of different fundamental quantity as M1, L1 and T1 in this system of unit. So in this system of unit, the magnitude of, magnitude of fundamental quantity, fundamental quantities be M1, L1 and T1, right? On the other hand, if we take, for example, apart from this, let us take N2 system, U2 system of unit, for U2 system of unit, right? N2 will be its numerical value, right? N2 will be numerical value 
and corresponding magnitude of fundamental quantity will be m2, l2 and t2. All right. So, I can write this q is equals to n1 right into in space of u1 what I can write is m1 to the power a l1 to the power b and t1 to the power c because I can express u1 in terms of m1 l1 and t1 right and let us assume the power in which they were raised to be a b and c respectively and this power must be same in case of another system of unit 2 right so this must be equal to n2 into m2 to the power a l2 to the power b and t2 to the power c so we have just replaced the value of u1 with the help of this three fundamental units raised to the power corresponding power and u2 by this three fundamental units raised to their corresponding powers that is a b and c now let us say that you know the value of n1 for example the value of mass in si system of unit that is in kg right so you have to find its value in some other system of units that is n2 that you want to find so as these two are equal i can write n2 is equals to n1 into m1 by m2 to the power a l1 by l2 to the power b and t1 by t2 to the power c all right so this is the numerical value of this same quantity q in u2 system of units right so the value will give in u2 so that this is the numerical value if you write u2 along with it we will get the value of the same quantity in new system of unit so we will use this particular formula to, uh, to find out the numerical value of a physical quantity in new system of units this particular concept will be clear when we will be doing a problem based on this concept explore more about the topics you love with topper subscribe now and keep learning